One of the things I want to share with you, and so I am in the position of, of connecting with them, um, and it's interesting because I'm sort of like, it's almost kind of a weird position to be in sometimes because I'm a, I am an interpreter of the spirit world, but I'm also a, a, a passive receiver of the spirit world. Every single person that's connected to the same source has the opportunity and the privilege to make connection. Everyone here is projecting their consciousness now. We are all projecting our consciousness temporarily into a biological machine. We have over 1,400 documented incidents, many of them videotaped. And these are happening months before death. Why do I feel I get overwhelmed by people? Mm -hmm. And if I'm overwhelmed or I'm drained of energy, where am I expending energy in a way that I could energy resource a little bit and save my energy there and maybe witness instead of participate. And tomorrow in my presentation, I'm going to share a story that absolutely allows me to say, I have proof that we are souls and that the soul survives the transition we call death. The circumstances of this mega death that we are living through on every single level, the death of the seas, the death of the it's cross. It's an amazing arising energy and uh, beautiful, I call it the last hurrah now, <laughs> that can come in certain circumstances. The challenge in healthcare is for us to recognize that sometimes this is a last beautiful goodbye and not a circumstance to reinstitute aggressive care. You, we need people in the world that are willing to bring a vision to the world, that are willing to put their power online. They're willing to step forward with their power. You are not just here for healing, you are here for something much, much bigger.